happy World Breastfeeding Week. We're really excited to be here. My name is Amber and this is Mishi Hello. and we are the founders of Guru Dance. And today we are here with Ashley Mazzanti and we're going to talk about a little bit about breastfeeding, a little bit about baby wearing and how, you know, the two really uh, go together very well and have a lot of similarities. But before we get to all of that, Ashley, I would love for you to share a little bit about, um, you know, World Breastfeeding Week and, and the celebrations that are happening all month, right? And, you know, what this means to you. All right. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Ashley Mazzanti, and I am in San Antonio, Texas. And um, World Breastfeeding Week is a very important week to me. Um, I breastfed my oldest child. He's now eight. And um, I always felt like it was kind of something that I just did at home on my own or, you know, I was very discreet about it. Um, and then with my second child, I got invited to attend a local event here in San Antonio called Latch On SA. And the main part about it was um, a latch on, which I was like, what is this? And we literally just sat down on a gym floor and breastfed our babies together. Mm. And it was the most powerful moment in my entire life. And I was just floored by just looking around and seeing so many different families. You know, everybody was just together feeding their babies and no one felt the need to cover up or be ashamed. And it was really beautiful and it really inspired me to want to do more and become more involved in the breastfeeding community. Um, so after that event, that was, I went with my second son. Um, so that was in 2016. So he had just, he was about to turn one. And um, I was like, I need to go and do this and uh, get more involved and, you know, support other families and give other families the support that I was looking for that I hadn't had found. So I was very excited. I become a La Leche League leader and then I got more involved with the Latch On event that was here in San Antonio. And then I found Grooveroo too and I got more involved with that because breastfeeding and baby wearing dance go so hand in hand like Amber had said. And I would find myself very often um, having multiple children that we do baby wear a lot because it's easy and convenient. I can meet my child's need and tend to my older kids, and then that goes in with breastfeeding too. Once I figured out how to breastfeed in a baby carrier, the world was so open, I could do anything. <laughs> so uh, breastfeeding is very important to me. Uh, baby wearing is very important to me. World, um, breastfeeding week, baby wearing, baby wearing dance. And then I was like, aha moment, I need to reach out to Amber and Nishi, and we need to do a dance, especially this year when a lot of people can't meet together and we can't do things that we really enjoy doing that we have to be apart but we can still be together and so i figured what a great time to reach out do a baby wearing dance made specifically for world breastfeeding week and that families can dance together and spend some time and find some joy together dancing definitely and you know i think you you brought up a lot of really good points um about, you know, baby wearing and, and some of the benefits of that, of being able to, you know, tend to your younger kids and be with your, or to your older kids and have your younger one on you. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because a lot of similarities are, you know, with being able to comfort your child and be there and have them close and, you know, they can hear your voice and they can listen to the sound of your heartbeat and they can have all of this yumminess right on you with baby wearing, which is actually really great for breastfeeding and can facilitate breastfeeding. And oftentimes what I hear from moms that come to our classes, the baby gets in the carrier and they're like, oh, all they want to do is breastfeed when they get in here because they have just like that, like, oh, like I'm in my safe, warm, cozy place and I just want to be in it. I just want to be here and I just want to you know, enjoy it and fully enjoy it and be able to breastfeed as well. And I think that just goes to show, you know, that release of oxytocin that we get when we're breastfeeding. And I, um, we have a four-year-old son and I continue to breastfeed him this day and I love it. And it's one of my favorite parts of the day. And, you know, it's just that, that ability to be able to do that and to create that connection is, is so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, for me, because uh, I cannot breastfeed, um, 
I think that for me, baby wearing dance has allowed me to have almost all the things <laughs> that you can get from breastfeeding except for the milk part. Right. Uh, but something I'd like to share as an interesting story is that when our videos first went viral, especially the dad's video with all the dads dancing with their babies, mm -hmm. uh, a, a company from China took our video and then added some script to, mm -hmm. to, one, of, to one of our dad's dances. And I asked one of my friends to translate it. And one of the lines was, they are like milk dads. And I just, I said, what does that mean, milk dads? <laughs> it's like, and then I asked her and she said, well, they are as nurturing to their child as a, a woman who's breastfeeding their child. So, and that's something we can offer. Yeah, we can't give the milk, but we can have for everything else. And the other benefit is that it also creates that oxytocin connection, which makes mm -hmm. them feel connected to us and us connected to babies as well. Mm -hmm. And for that, with that example, Ashley, I'd love you to, you to share your story about your husband mm -hmm. and how he got that connection with your youngest. So yeah, with uh, breastfeeding, baby wearing, baby wearing dance, um, that's definitely become a daily thing in our house. Um, one of a really great benefits that's extended besides me, but onto my partner, onto my husband, is that he always felt that he could never really settle the baby or really comfort the baby in the way that I could. And he would kind of get almost frustrated with the other kids that he's tried this and that and that. And then I'm like, just, just give me the baby. That's okay. I can just nurse the baby. And he's like, that's no fair. I want that special magical power, you know? And so... When I became a groovery teacher and I learned more about all the connections that can happen from baby wearing and baby wearing dance, I was sharing that with my husband. And then when our fourth baby was born, um, beautiful moments there that he um, was like, you know what, go ahead, take a shower. I've got the baby. I'm like, okay, she should, she's asleep. She should be fine. Like, you know, I've got a solid, you know, at least like 10 minutes probably, right? And then I heard, I heard the baby crying and I was like, oh no. And then it stopped. And I was like, oh, what happened? And I'm like, I'm sure they're okay. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, something. And, yeah, and I get out of the shower, and my husband is holding the baby up like the baby would be in the carrier, and he was doing like a simple little sidestep and turning and sidestep and turning. And I was like, wow. And I was like, I'm like, I'm not going to say, why didn't you get the carrier? Because this is a big progress, right, that he was holding up the baby, and he was like, Wow this calmed her and she was so calm and I was like yes this is what it's all about you know so I really would encourage all families you know baby wearing is wonderful and baby wearing dance is wonderful and it does give other family members other uh, caregivers that opportunity to bond and comfort with their child mm -hmm. and like Mishi said it offers all those great things except the milk so yeah. You know, it's a great tool to have. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Man, that's such a, I just love that story. Every time I hear it, it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, even, you know, that, uh, baby wearing is wonderful, right? And you said, you mentioned, you know, I didn't say anything about, you know, putting the carrier on or anything. And sometimes that in arms, sometimes that's all that they need. And sometimes it's more about your arms getting tired, right? If you're dancing with the baby for a long period of time. But but them, you know, having that connection, it really emulates yeah. what we like to talk about in our classes is that your baby is your dance partner, right? And that you, they just, you get to have this intimate connection with them in this way. And it's just, it's really special. Yeah. And I feel like because I was able to dance with Eamon since he was, very, very little yeah. till about two or three yeah. that uh, he's really close and connected with me in a way that I think um, I don't know that I don't think I would have had that connection if I hadn't had that dancing with him from the beginning mm -hmm. so yeah. I, I love that he feels close enough and wants to cuddle with me and and feel safe around me mm -hmm. so that, that's a really good feeling so I really encourage you dads to give it a go too <laughs> <laughs> with that said we're very excited to share our our dance, a groover dance for World Breastfeeding Week. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so go ahead, we're gonna take some time to put your baby on. So if you have a baby you wanna wear while dancing, that's great. Mm -hmm. If you wanna get other family members to dance with you that are older, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. And also we just wanna encourage you if you wanna do the dance and you feel inspired to uh, yeah. record yourself and share it with us, that would be great. Uh, and then we'll, we'll make a compilation video of you guys doing the dance with us. That would be wonderful. Ashley, how do we do that? 
Um, if you want to go ahead and send it uh, to me via email, you can send it to birth and breastfeeding alliance at gmail.com and you can send it via Google Drive. And then, um, uh, yeah. Um, and if you also feel inspired too, you can go ahead and upload it onto YouTube as well. And you can tag River of Dance and you can tag uh, Birth and Breastfeeding Alliance as well. Wonderful. So I'm going to leave these two to share the dance with you today. And uh, I'm very excited to see all of you dancing and, you know, just sharing your, your love for World Breastfeeding Week and for baby wearing and dance um, with us in our conference. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby, baby.